Hello and thanks for joining me. We're going to talk about the THG Automation Welding Solution and our UR cap that we've built for the Universal Robots and Fronius Welding System. We talked previously about air moves and joint moves and you can look at those videos um, in our website or on uh, YouTube. And uh, today we're going to talk about home positions. Now Universal Robots has built in a home position function that is um, gives you one one location and what we've done is we've decided to add the option to put in multiple home positions because we've got customers that use two tables or they may have uh, two tables with a left station and a right station versus just welding one long part so they want the option to create um, different types or different home positions for different scenarios so what we've done is in the installation screen, and then if you go into UR caps, you'll see our UR cap screen, and it has a setup, movement defaults, weld presets, and home positions. So we're going to delete, in a previous example, we're going to delete the home position two that we had in here, and we're going to we're going to set up a home position one first. So home position one, let's say we want it to be back here out of the way. So I'm going to move the robot over here, kind of keep it in, in frame though. And we're going to say, all right, let's update or set this position here. So on our screen now, we've got our movement screen and we're going to go okay for make that our first position for our home. Now let's create a home two position. So let's say we want a home position closer over here. Maybe it's going to weld apart over on the left side, but we still want it out of the way so we can get our parts loaded and unloaded on the tables. So let's hit the plus sign. You'll see add delete home position. So let's add a second home position and let's say update or set position there. So now we have a position here that's a home and we have a position here which is a home too. Let's go back into our program in our previous example, we had actually started from here, we came over, we did a weld, and then we came up and stopped here. So we're going to modify this first linear move, and inside our, our move um, air move functions, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see use a home position. So we're going to hit that checkbox, and now the screen changes to where we have a list of the home positions that we've created in our installation screen. So we're going to press home 1. To where now it's going to move to our preset home position over to the side instead of where it was supposed to do by just setting an arbitrary waypoint. So let's leave that and let's go to the end of the program. So I think this position here was actually somewhere right here. Let's go ahead and just move it there to confirm what I think we had done in the previous program. So let's go move to waypoint. And we did. So there's there's where the robot's going to end. But I want the robot to then go to the back of the table because let's say we're going to weld something on the left side. So I want it over here, out of the way, but ready to start welding. So we're going to add another move. And then we're going to go and select that checkbox, use a home position. And we're going to select home two. So now our program should start back here, come over, weld, come up and then move over to our home two position. So home one positions over here, home two positions over here. So let's do that and see what happens. So that's the basics of using home positions. Uh, you can add more home positions if you like. So you can add home one, home two, home three. Um, you can set those up so that um, you know it, it makes it easy to you know save those positions every time. Maybe you want something to where it parks the robot in a position where it's safe for you know doing some other operation or keeps the robot safe from something happening. So um, yeah. Enjoy using that, play around with it, and uh, ping us with any questions. Thanks very much.